it would, was about time I uh, showed you my progress of my shed. It's been a bit slow going because it was a bit wonky, well, not wonky, wobbly. So um, I've shored it up, made it firm. Um, so that's what I was pretty much doing last week. But I'll, I'll show you where I am at the moment. Uh, this is it so far. This is the roosting bar. Stop the bloody door. Um, that's where that's where the hatch is going to be to get the eggs. That's where the window is going to be. I've got a firm roof. I'm shored up the frame door frame by putting those brackety things on. And so far, oh thank you door. Just wanted you to close there. Um, I've just stuck the door on now, just so I know how wide to do the slats. But that's got the door on. And I'm just starting to, as you can see, demolish that shed down there and use what wood I can because obviously we're all about the recycling and then uh, put it onto here. Um, I, th I think it looks beautiful. I'm very proud of it. Safety done. What's that, Matthew? Are you commenting on health and safety? Health and safety, yeah, leaving nails in ward facing upwards. Yeah, but I'm going to sort that out tomorrow. So this is what I've done today. Um, it was a bit too hot to be doing this, but I, I think it looks great. So I'm going to finish off the rest, obviously, because I'm not going for the open air effect. Because the chickens would <laughs> run away. <laughs> um, so it's goodbye from me. Oh, do you like oh. my uh, lack of beard? Oh, I think it's so much better. Yeah, I don't. Look how handsome he is. Mm. Um, so, yes, I've just brought Matthew down to view my work and in, what did you say about it Matthew? Fantastic. Oh I think, I think I've just already recorded that so you don't need to say anything just look pretty. Okay. Smile and look pretty. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I thought I'd better show you how it's going. Um, I'm just about to put the last slat on. It's very exciting. As you can see right at the very top that's where the last one needs to go. Here it is. It's small so it's, I've had to cut it three times because it keeps breaking. Um, it's now taken me approximately two, two weeks to make. Let's call it a week and a half. It's been hard work nailing on all these boards individually, but it's really, really, really firm now. Um, I'm really proud of it. So I've got the roof to do. I'm going to paint it a bit today as well. Um, I just... I'm just so proud that I, I, I want to live in it. I really do. Well, here it is. I've still not got the roof on, but I've done all the painting. And now I need to have a break. But I'll just give you a quick guided tour. This is the side. The back. Wait for it. The other side. That'll be the hatch for the eggs. It's going to be internal. Um, Lenny has kindly given me some glass, some plastic, shaded plastic, so I can make the window out of it. And here is the front. I have individually nailed on each board here. Laboriously. Here's the inside still. That'll be where the, the nest box goes. There's the roosting pole. And that is it. Well, that'd be really funny if that didn't fit, wouldn't it? That is it for today. I'll just give you a oh, look. I walk, look, all my sweet corn are doing really well. They're the bought ones. They're my ones. They're coming on lovely now. I've done nothing else around the allotment this past two weeks because I've been so involved in the coop. Yes. Oh, don't look at the top bit because it looks a bit wonky, but it's absolutely fine. It's functional. It's lovely. That's it. I'm done. I'm sure I'll get some complaints maybe from the neighbours saying it's too big. It's like a toilet actually. So if nothing else I could make it into a toilet. Mm -hmm.